Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about MDE Troubleshooter. Will you be excited to have a GUI tool for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint troubleshooting? At the moment, the challenge for admins is going into registry, event logs, running some PowerShell commands, etc., etc., to get the detailed information on the troubleshooting scenarios. Or you can use a Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Analyzer tool. That is again a command line tool. If you are like me, you would love to have GUI tool for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint troubleshooting. So that is what we are going to see in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so let's get into more details about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint troubleshooting tools. So there are some classic troubleshooting tools such as registry, etc. We are going to see that. And then there is a tool from the community that is what we are going to see. And then we will see the demo as well of that tool. Let's go to the next slide. So what does Microsoft 365 Defender? That is what we have explained in this slide. So we have very detailed uh, YouTube videos over here. If you click on I button to understand what is Microsoft 365 Defender and what is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, etc, etc. So it is nothing but enterprise defense solution natively coordinates to detect, prevent, investigate and respond to any threats for the enterprises. What is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint? Microsoft Defender for Endpoint troubleshooting. So let's understand quickly what is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. If you want more details you can always click on the i button over here that will list down the detailed videos about microsoft defender for endpoint how to configure it how to integrate this with intune and then how to onboard devices to microsoft defender for endpoint etc etc microsoft defender for endpoint is also known as mde mde is an enterprise endpoint security platform it provides alerts events you can do hunting actions, reporting also available and security analysis is also available. Threat and vulnerability management is one of the key pillars of MDE and it has the connectivity with the graph API for the automation and it provides notification services etc etc. And this is the Qt diagram which shows the connectivity between the endpoint and endpoint cloud solution and then Microsoft in tune. What are the troubleshooting options for MDE, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, registry, event logs, reports, etc, etc are the basic troubleshooting tools for MDE. And then there's a PowerShell command also to help you with troubleshooting MDE scenarios. Get MP preference that is the commandlet you have to use to get more details about Windows 11 devices or Windows device how the MDE is configured, is it active mode, passive mode, etc, etc. And then if you want to consolidate all the logs and then send it to someone who can analyze it. For that, Microsoft shared a tool, a command line tool called Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Client Analyzer. That is a command line tool. Just need to run the CMD file and you need to have the admin rights to run this particular CMD file. And in in this video, we are going to concentrate on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Troubleshooter GUI tool. Let's go to the next slide and find out what does this GUI tool. First of all, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint MDE Troubleshooter is created by Thomas as you can see over here and he knows the trouble to get different settings of MDE onboarded Windows device. Sometimes you need to look into registry, sometimes event logs, sometimes PowerShell command led etc etc. So he wanted to help his customers or admins to get more user friendly or admin friendly tool to get everything in one place powershell event viewer registry tenant information everything at one place that is this mde troubleshooter tool it is a powershell script with an intuitive gui build using wpf 
and this particular tool uses Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Analyzer in the background. So this tool is not going to collect any information which are not required etc. We'll see in the demo how this tool looks and what are the options you can have in this tool etc etc. Let's dive into the demo. So let's look into Microsoft Defender Client Analyzer tool. So how to run this tool? To run this tool you just need to run this CMD file. You can download MDE Client Analyzer tool from Microsoft documentation over here and as I mentioned this is a command line tool. When I run this command line tool what I got is testing for admin privileges and I don't have admin access so it failed. If you don't have admin access you cannot run this MDE Client Analyzer .cmd file. These are the files inside MDE Client Analyzer tool. There's a CMD file and then there is a PowerShell script and then again there's a CMD file and there's a tools folder inside that you can see it is using some of the well-known tools PSXEC etc etc. Now if you look at the PowerShell script from Thomas MDE troubleshooter GUI tool you can see this is the PowerShell script and you can download this PowerShell script from GitHub and you can use it. So let's try to run this and you can see an error over here but at least the pop-up is coming the tool is launched GUI tool you can see over here MDE troubleshooter you can see over there and then it is easy to get the defender for endpoint engine version product version running mode service version signature version if you are getting confused with all these versions I have already explained this in a previous video you can click on I button over here in YouTube to get more details tamper source ATP and then tamper protection is true and you can see last signature update and what is the signature fallback order all those things you can get it from here quarantine 90 cloud block level high block at first false cloud timeout as 50 you can see all these details in this GUI tool and you can see the org ID also over here and then if you want to check ASR rules configured for this particular Windows 11 client you can click on this button show ASR rules and at the moment I have not applied any ASR rules that is why it shows ASR rules are empty now let's look into tool Tooling options. Run performance analyze analyzer tool basically. This is not possible because probably I don't have admin access. This command cannot be run due to the error. File name or extension is too long. Maybe this is a non bug or this is an issue because I don't have admin access. Let me know in the comment section whether you are getting this error or not. Now the other things which are very useful in this tool is show sense logs. If you click on that, you would be able to see the logs over here in this particular screen. That is very, very useful information rather than going into different applications like event logs, etc. to get this information. And then let's check show defender AV logs. Again, this is also very useful information. You can get all these informations over here show exclusions is other option let's click on that and see this is again because I don't have admin access that is why it cannot show what are excluded the list of exclusions but this run performance analyze is giving me a different error so I'm not 100% sure this is because of my admin rights or some other stuff now if you want to check for the latest updates you can click on this button check for latest updates button and then that will try to contact the cloud services and it will give you the information latest engine version is this one 1823050 1823060 is is the version of my client but latest engine version shows as per this tool is 23050 that is a bit weird probably we need to raise a bug with thomas on this or maybe i am missing something latest platform version that is 
is also a bit different and latest signature version okay signature version is okay over here because that is the higher version number this is the higher version number than the signature version of the client over here 4102 and this is 4116 maybe this is because of the update channel difference maybe this tool doesn't support preview version of the client or update channels probably it's better to have that information also available in this tool i think from my perspective this is very very useful tool this part for sure and maybe this part i'm not sure because i'm getting some issues it is because of my configurations probably and need to look into this part also but potential of this tool is very high and i would recommend to try this in non production or testing environment first before going into production or before using it in production directly now that you have seen mde troubleshooter tool created by thomas really appreciate the community efforts so hopefully you like this tool and give the feedback to thomas so that he can improve the tool in future versions thank you all for watching see you around <laughs>